Hi guys. I welcome you all to my channel. There are heads up on features depreciation released by the automation anywhere. Do comment for any queries. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Happy learning. This communication is to inform you of upcoming deprecations listed below that may impact you. 1. Basic authentication deprecation in Microsoft Exchange Online. 2. Chrome Edge Manifest V2 deprecation. Microsoft has announced that starting October 1, 2022, basic authentication will be permanently turned off, disabled, for specific protocols in Exchange Online as mentioned below. Mappy, RPC, Offline Address Book, OAB, Exchange Web Services, EWS, POP, IMAP, Exchange Active Sync, EAS, and Remote PowerShell. Exclusion colon SMTP auth is excluded from this deprecation. Any client, user app, script, integration, etc., using basic authentication for one of the affected protocols will be unable to connect after that date. The app will receive an HTTP 401 error, bad username or password. Any app using OAuth 2.0 for these same protocols will be unaffected. Automation 360 customers will be impacted if they are running bots for email automation that connects to Exchange Online using IMAP, POP3 or EWS protocols with basic authentication. We plan to provide a new version of email package with OAuth 2.0 support as part of Automation 360v.25 R3 package only release during the week of August 29, 2022. Guidance from Automation Anywhere to leverage OAuth 2.0 support is provided below. Email package. The EWS option currently supports both Basic and OAuth 2.0 auth. Switch authentication policies from BASIC to OAuth 2.0. For OAuth 2.0, we currently support silent mode drop flow, an interactive mode, implicit flow. Update impacted bots by replacing each email related action with OAuth 2.0 auth. Email package. Enhance the EWS option for OAuth 2.0 to support more secure authorization code grant flow. Customer using EWS with OAuth 2.0 are not impacted. If desired, they can switch their bots from silent or interactive mode to a more secure authorization code grant flow when this enhancement is available as part of Automation 360v.25 R3 package only release. Email trigger. Enhance the email trigger actions to support OAuth 2.0 auth for EWS. Switch authentication policies from BASIC to OAuth 2.0. Update impacted bots by replacing each email related action with OAuth 2.0 auth, starting with Automation 360v.25 R3, package only, release. IMAP and POP3. Email package and trigger. Enhance the email server option to support OAuth 2.0 for IMAP and POP3 protocols. Switch authentication policies from BASIC to OAuth 2.0. Update impacted bots by replacing each email related action with OAuth 2.0 auth, starting with Automation 360v.25 R3, package only, release. Outlook. Email package and trigger. No changes required to Automation 360. Switch authentication policies from BASIC to OAuth 2.0. Configure Outlook client on the bot runner machine to use OAuth 2.0. SMTP. Email package and trigger. No changes required to Automation 360. This protocol is currently excluded from the BASIC authentication deprecation scope and hence there is no impact to the bots which uses SMTP for email automation. V11 customers can upgrade to the 11.3.5.7 client patch version to use OAuth 2.0 support for IMAP and POP3 protocols. This is planned to be released during the week of August 29, 2022. 
the impacted bots should be updated by replacing each email command using basic authentication with OAuth 2.0 authentication. Customers migrating to Automation 360 are recommended to migrate their email automation bots to the latest Automation 360 version followed by replacing each email related action with OAuth 2.0 authentication. Please fill out this short survey. It will help us inform you of any external changes that could impact you in a timely manner. 2. Chrome Edge Manifest V2 Deprecation Google has announced deprecation of Manifest V2 MV2, in January 2023. MV2 is a specification to create browser extensions and is used by our Chrome and Edge browser extensions. Therefore, in Jan 2023, Automation Anywhere's current MV2-based extensions will not run in Chrome, Edge, barring limited policy-based enterprise exceptions. Such policy-based exceptions can extend MV2 extension support for another six months, that is, until June 2023, for enterprise versions of Chrome operating under corporate policy. Automation 360 Customers we will publish new Chrome and Edge Manifest V3, MV3, extensions with Automation 360v.26. We will continue to support MV2 extensions until June 2023, to provide customers who have the enterprise extension longer time to switch to MV3. Automation 360 customers have following options to switch to MV3 extensions. New Customers Customers who start with Automation 360v.26 will directly use MV3 extensions. They will not be impacted by MV2 extensions deprecation. Automation 360 Cloud Customers Our cloud deployments will be upgraded to Automation 360v.26 by mid of October, and the upgraded bot agents will switch to using MV3 extensions. Automation 360 On-Premises Customers When customers upgrade from an earlier version of Automation 360 to Automation 360v.26, the upgraded bot agents will automatically switch to using MV3 extensions. A control room upgrade will be made available for customers on Automation 360v.25 by end September, and the upgraded bot agents will switch to using MV3 extensions. For customers on earlier releases, we strongly recommend that they upgrade to Automation 360v.26 or later releases. If they are unable to upgrade, we will provide them with a set of steps to perform on all bot agent and bot runner devices to switch them to using MV3 extensions. These customers can then choose to delay the MV3 upgrade by using a Chrome Group policy that extends support for Manifest V2 extensions until June 2023. V11 Customers we will publish a new Chrome extension updated with MV3 as part of V11.3.5.8 versions planned to be released in the mid of November 2022. Customers with the bots impacted due to the Chrome extension deprecations should upgrade to 11.3.5.8 client patch version to use the updated plugin. V11 customers can choose to delay the upgrade by using the group policy that extends support for Manifest V2 extensions until June 2023 instead of Jan 2023. Customers migrating to Automation 360 are recommended to migrate to Automation 360v.26 which will use MV3 extensions by default. Customers migrating to Automation 360v.25 will need to install a v.25 upgrade, which will be available by end of September. We are here to support you and will continue to provide updates. If you would like to discuss this matter, please contact your Automation Anywhere representative. I have pasted the links provided by the Automation Anywhere in the description. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated.